Should we do our? Oh my god, you're scaring the shit out of me with your with your food poisoning. I'm starting to, I'm starting to um, show. Well, we have a really. To, there's a bit of oozing happening. Uh, the more I talk about it, the worse it gets. So, yeah, let's move forward. You want like a cold co- conference? <laughs> no, I'm good. A washcloth. We want the rest we could, of this coffee. That'll help. <laughs> that should be good. Yeah. yeah. Move oh, it along. Is it showing? Can you guys see how much I'm sweating? Yeah. No. Face? Yeah. Is it clear? <laughs> Is it picking up on the on the cam? No. It's charming. It's endearing. Mm-hmm. Do you think the sweat? It's earnest. Good word. Good word of the week. <laughs> hey, Brooke. Hi, Connor. Are you ready to MAP? I'm ready to pee. Ignorance is bliss. I'm living in a world of my own, and it's awesome. Oh, I thought I was responsible for 9-11 when I was five. Where were you? In Pennsylvania. Touch grass, might I suggest. We're just gonna dive right in today. Okay. Um, Is it on? Are we going? Okay. So, (laughs) something about us is we, we don't know how to intro or extro the podcast. And the body is also- The body is also a little bit- You have trouble introing the podcast? Yeah, very yeah. much so. Like saying, hey guys, welcome. Welcome back. R- really, to... really, really hard for us. Got it. We've actually had um, ChatGBT do it a few times. Are you mm-hmm. familiar with ChatGBT? I sure am, yeah. That's like that AI, it generates, you ask it like, can you write an intro for my podcast? And it spits one out. There's actually oh. a whole issue with the uh, writer's strike. Yes, <laughs> because they're concerned that AI is going to start writing all the Hollywood movies. I'm never going to get a job. I'm concerned. Oh, I'm never I, gonna get a job, and that, and then you don't have to give residuals to anyone because it's a robot. That's, that's scary. Perfect. Oh. Oh. Perfect. Before we get into that, <laughs> hey guys, do you girls want to try to intro the pod? Oh sure. yeah. So if you were to be introing if a pod you, this at this time, at this time, POV, you're Brooke, you're Connor, or if you're more comfortable, you're Brooke and you're Connor. Whatever feels right. Okay, you POV, want- you're Brooke and Connor, and you're introing the pod. Does that help? Yeah, we're here. Not <laughs> real. I'm not sure, but I. What? What about? The, how do you? How do you there's guys? No right there's answer. No answer. Okay. No. This Welcome back to the Connor and Brooke, Brooke podcast. What's the name? That's of the perfect. Podcast? Brooke and Connor make a podcast. Brooke and Connor make, make a, a podcast. podcast. Yeah. Welcome back. It's, Thank you for joining it. Yes. It's so Brooke and Connor. That's that, we have like a that's really better low, than anything we've ever done. We have a so. really low bar, obviously, but that is like. Above and beyond anything that we've seriously we've ever made it. We to. should seriously have that on recording that. and just like play it at the beginning. <laughs> Can that be our new intro that we do of every episode? Um, it's expensive. Welcome back. We have some really just normal. Some of our friends like completely chill. We just needed to fill up some seats today, so yeah. we asked Morgan Nally and Alexander Daddario. Dario. Daddario. How's it go? <laughs> it's actually it's actually pronounced both ways. Really? Okay. Yeah, Good. It's okay. It's nice. That was like yeah. the one thing today. She we were, was like, I was like, you need, Dario, to, Dario. you need to say it okay. correctly. Okay, cool. Dario. Ambidextrous. That's right. Yeah. Sort of. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. It's like bilingual, I, like I think. Yeah. Would be yeah. Bilingual. Yeah. Bilingual queen. Um, well, thanks for thanks for coming in. It almost didn't happen. It well, almost didn't. Well, this we almost well, didn't happen. Right. How do you guys feel about honesty? Great about it. Best yeah. policy. Today kicked my ass. Okay. In the balls, yeah. Okay. From the start, <laughs> did you it kind of kicked me in the balls and ass. Nothing went balls and like ass okay. It day. was a, it was a it was a ball and ass kicking <laughs> kind of day. Right, right and from the that, start. Right from the start. Mm-hmm. But what Before happened? all this happened with the podcast, we can take it from the top. Sure. Yeah. You seemed pretty chipper on the phone. You handled the crisis well. So I do well. In, didn't, I do well crisis. in crisis. It didn't come do, across like you'd had a. Yeah. I shouldn't. Bad day. Right. Yeah. I handle all of. Um, my issues by bottling them mm-hmm. and exploding once a quarter. Mm-hmm. That's like, yeah. as, as men, as men do. Like, yeah. Men will literally explode once a quarter instead of going to therapy. I would encourage. <laughs> once qu- a quarterly therapy, explosion. If, oh, if at all possible. Therapy. This podcast for everyone. might be brought to you by BetterHelp. I can't remember <laughs> this week. But um, so there's this restaurant in the Palisades that I'm obsessed with and I go all the time. And I was like, Brooke, let's start the day. Let's get our brains going early. Mm-hmm. Let's head over to the Palisades. What time is this? <laughs> like, My alarm went off at 10. Okay. I uh, think we got there at 11.30. Yeah, it was close. Timeline's fuzzy. 
you're not allowed to be, you're a cafe. <laughs> you call yourself a cafe and you're closed on a Sunday. Name a more cafe day than Sunday. I can't. Tuesday? No. I wouldn't be caught dead at a cafe on a Tuesday. Right. I'm sw- I'm drenched. I'm sweating. <laughs> you guys you take off your jacket. I could. It's a really warm so jacket. That, so that sounds awful. Yeah. That's awful. Yeah. And leading into what ended up happening mm-hmm. within the last hour, which I know you guys. Right. I'm a lot more relaxed probably than you guys. Are. Well, we had to go to a cafe that wasn't the initial one. So there is a possibility that. Um, we'll get food poisoning in the next ten to fifteen minutes. Diarrhea. Oh, from great. Mm, As like, I was eating, I was like, like so, something hit. Like some, <laughs> yeah, like something really sinister could happen. I'm feeling like it's possible on my end, but who's to say? Um, <laughs> so that's awesome. So that happened, food poisoning, and then I got lost on the way to the podcast studio because Wait, you know no, what? Sorry, what? Oh, on the way there, you got lost. As yeah. Well? Oh. well, that's what I'm saying. I. I make one wrong turn and it's like, okay, forget it. Like, it's not possible for me to make a, a right turn and, moving and forward. What happened when you finally got there? Um, oh, yeah, it takes me a while to get to. No, I just, the I'm, power was out. Right. So that's why um, we're here. Obviously the power was out though. <laughs> the power was out. Because we held off. There was no electricity no, in the podcast no. whatsoever. It was pitch black and one of our options given to us <laughs> was, was in the would picture. you guys maybe want to record in the dark? <laughs> That would have been fun. From, I would have loved that. It, yeah. would, it would be like kind of a dining in the dark experience. How would they record without power? Back. Like on a generator? That was the one question I had for the team was <laughs> how would this work moving forward right. with the visuals? Yeah. It would have been a, just a dark. It was, it'd be, that's, like, that's like modern cinema is very dark. We right. could have, been we very could have used a cell phone light to light ourselves. They and... also used to do, I don't know if anyone's seen reality tv yeah i like back it. No, on uh no, no reality tv have you ever heard of it <laughs> it's um, is that a movie <laughs> it's basically a real life movie no back on like rock of love they used to i think it was rock of love what's that that sounds good mm-hmm. you've not seen rock what? of love no you got to go on hulu can you it's give all me all three seasons brett michaels rock of love i could go off on this okay. so i'm gonna taper it back a little but you're good at that they I did can... brett they michaels did... was finding love Rock I love, love Brett There were three no, seasons. I love, it. I love that yeah. You do know. He's got a bandana. I love it. Constantly. Okay. Poison's lead singer. Oh, Poison. It's, yes, Poison. Oh, I know God. you're a really big yeah. fan. I'm obsessed with Poison. <laughs> but he had a reality TV dating show, even though he like kind of had a wife the whole time. I don't know. But he just dated strippers and they did crazy things. Right. But they would do like dates in the dark and stuff and just feel around. That's fun. You know. Bring that we've, back. We've lost, we've lost the plot with reality. We need to go back to just, it's pitch black and Golden we're guessing. Ages. Love is Television. blind. Love is blind. Rock of love on VH1. <laughs> we need more rock of love. Honestly, that's what love is blind it's is. Essentially. You don't have visual access. I just binged the first time I wanna, of the season yesterday. if at all possible, speak about that. We can. But what were we, what we get kind of like. So we're not doing the podcast in the dark. We're here so now. The cool thing about mm-hmm. that is that we have a new set that we've been really excited about. And we were saving ourselves for for, for you to for you guys. to come onto that set, and we were not we oh. didn't want any other guests except for you guys. Oh my god, that's we, such an because we were so nice. we were saving our set virginities. So and, naturally, but thankfully, we, the power was able. Yeah, to but go not out. that big of a deal for me, relaxing for me, but for you guys, lugging equipment and panicking and trying to figure it out, very stressful. No, it was. Well, I mean, we're lucky it's you guys because yeah. do people get fussy? Because it was really easy. Um, I could see no. They just say no to that. coming on. I think more so than mm-hmm. getting fussy about s- to date. You mean they would say they would just be like, oh, "We're we're going to move forward and never. Yeah, we're not going to pick back up. No, we're thankful for for you. Can yeah, you guys are so us. so easy and low key and chill. Yeah, yes, easy, low key and chill. Thank you. That's <laughs> no one's talking about how low key and chill they are. That's what I try to make people. Everyone think. here. That's why this podcast is no one's doing it like us because we are just constantly keeping it. Chill. Yes. Hello, team. Today, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, ZuckDuck. There's nothing worse than going to a doctor's appointment expecting to be the center of attention, and then your doctor seems like they have better things to do and better places to be. Instead of listening to you intently, asking you how you feel, helping you along, the doctor is checking the clock. On ZuckDuck, you'll find quality doctors who focus on you, listen to you, and prioritize your care. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. When you're not feeling your best and just trying to hold it together, finding great care shouldn't take up all your energy. That's where ZocDoc comes in. 
Using their free app that millions of users rely on, you can find the right doctor that meets your needs and fits your schedule. Book an appointment with a few taps on their app and start feeling better faster with ZocDoc. Go to ZocDoc.com slash B and C and download the free ZocDoc app. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash B-N-C. ZocDoc.com slash B-N-C. So I guess people don't know like how you two know each other and what your relationship is. So I guess my question for you would be, how do you two know each other and what is your relationship (laughs) to each other at this time? Well, we met because I worked with an actress who worked with Morgan and I was going to go do a movie in Toronto and I needed someone to watch my dog and also my house. Okay. I was very protective of both at the time. Um, um, even though they're both gone now. Very sad. Oh, no. Oh. Gone like... Sorry. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's okay. I'll continue with the story. That was a dark joke. But oh, no. I, it's okay. my friend... <laughs> but my friend said, um, my friend Morgan is moving to LA okay. from New York. And... Uh, we met at dinner. We met at dinner, and she was like, I have nowhere to live, and I have... Crashing with our friend at the time. I, and I'm sleeping on a friend's couch. But about five minutes... Well, it's like About five minutes, not even five minutes into said dinner. I went ding, ding, ding. She was like, do you want to move into this my house This person has nowhere to live. Dog. Oh, you guys weren't and kidding then, at all when you said that. No. That you actually, it was like a five minute situation Truly, until you said, was, get in my house. Yeah. And then I um, said, will you live in my house and watch my dog? Will you, co- will you come in indefinitely just, or just, just no, what? till I finish the movie okay. three months? And then it okay. turned into yeah. uh, three years of living oh, together. Okay. So, wow. But two weeks after she moved in, my mom and sister were like, we're going to come stay in LA. Oh, yeah. You were like, okay, you just moved into this house and. I was like, okay, great. I'm excited. I'm not in a studio apartment anymore. Like sharing. Yeah. It was very generous. But then moved there and she's like, my mom and my sister are coming to stay with you. And they stayed and for they, two weeks. And they lived together. I lived with her mom and her sister. Did you have a blast? We had a nice time. We met yeah. your mom. She was at the premiere. Oh. She's my favorite I person. talked to your mom for like 15 minutes. <laughs> I couldn't get, I couldn't, oh, my I mom. couldn't pry myself away from your mom. Uh, She's captivating. My mom is really a, a fun time. I want she was like, the, we got to get Alex out of here. And I was like, I I don't know Alex that well. <laughs> I can't tell her. You're, that is your your daughter, right? You should yell at her, throw something at her. <laughs> you were like, ta- you were you were talking up. You talked to everybody in that room. And yes. that Yeah, you're good at your job. Anyone who wanted to talk. Yeah, that mm-hmm. you're really nice. Morgan like you, and Morgan and I met that night too. You guys were both like, yes. Yeah. And then we met. Yeah, that's when we met well, you at your happened. premiere. Let's talk about that for night. The Make your because... witches. Well, how about, do you want to go back in time a little bit? Just like, I guess everybody on this podcast knows like that we're, we love Alex and yeah. it's like kind of like a, more of like a connection there. Yeah. But I love <laughs> you guys. Well, well, we love you so deeply. Oh. And now Morgan, so deeply. Very intimately. So yeah, very yeah. intimately. Well, <laughs> we had the same sort of situation where when I met you at that, I guess we'll have to go from the beginning, but I was just. We hit it off as if I knew you for like gangbusters. Yeah, yeah. It, was, yeah, it was. You nuts. would have had her come live in your house after five. You're minutes. that kind of person. No, we yeah. did, and then yeah. Yeah. I go to I go to Morgan before I even knew that you guys knew each other. I was just like looking for people to talk to because I was just in an annoying mood, <laughs> and we started talking, and then I joked about jumping off the second story balcony, right. and then you said, "Hopefully, you land on your neck." Yeah, <laughs> and I said that. I that love this girl. That's when you know. That's she would say. Yeah, you and, that's and then know. I said we should keep in touch, and you said, "Is this one of those L.A. we should keep in touch?" And I was like, oh, "This is a, a tough yeah. bitch." Oh, yeah. Like, and then you texted that night, yeah. and it was like, oh, "Yeah, okay, real deal." I'm a big follower upper. Yeah. I, so just to go back to oh, the yeah, thread, yeah. so Morgan moves in and then hangs out with my family, and then you know, so immediately within a month, we're like. Super close, even though we've probably spent a total of an hour together. Yeah. <laughs> and then I That's come it. home from the movie and the pandemic hits. And we oh. Didn't. So sleep. I knew Morgan wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. For a, for a while. Right. Yeah. Hunkered down. Um, and then people were like, it's going to last five years. And I was like, well, I better 
be friendly to this girl because right. I, you know, That's we're going to live she together for under ever. rights and stuff once she's in the house. Under past law, it's a right. Right. civil marriage, yeah. I think. Yeah. Legally. Um, and that brings to how I found you guys, which uh, was the pandemic had hit. Right. We downloaded TikTok. And I, yeah. As we did as too. As we all did. Yeah. We did too. That was a, that was yeah. a difficult time. Oh, it was. Yeah. And we were like, these two look like they're having a good time. Mm. Why aren't we having as much fun as they are? We would talk to the neighbors over the fence. That was fun. Go on walks. Yeah. You know. But you got, you yeah. were like a lot. in a house by the beach. Yeah. One of my pandemic family Connor. friends. Pandemic Connor was awesome. I hate to say this. Everyone always gets on me. I know that pandemic was horrible. Obviously, because I was saying. <laughs> Well, that's, year of my life. But like, that's what I thought. I, I so looked. Sorry. I was like, "Is it inappropriate to contact this person and ask him to come and like hang out with him and his friends at like, his beach like, house?" Drive to the west I, side. Yeah, I like, get it. I flew out. We'll see. You, from Philadelphia. You were brave. Yeah, yeah. I said I'm, con- I'm. I'd like to see the home. <laughs> and, and, I, and I got in. And, and I got a ticket. Did that's you guys what I together? wanted to do. After that, okay. like when I moved to LA, what happened was I was a preschool teacher. And then I had one viral TikTok and I said, I'm going to move forward with quitting (laughs) (laughs) immediately. Um, And I got lucky in that a few more went viral and then somehow got like agents. And then I said, do you think I need to move to L.A.? And they said, no, you can do everything from Philly. I said, perfect. I'll move. Yeah. Move to L.A. (laughs) And that's when I Connor also moved up to L.A. from that Newport (laughs) Newport beach house. And then we lived together. For three months until we didn't anymore. Right. And now we're well, just. You're that? Living, you are living the life that I wanted to live. I wanted to contact Connor and <laughs> hang out with well, his friends and move in and, move in and, and party and, and like have a yeah. good time and, you know, like become a TikTok right. star. Well, yeah. You are kind of you're you have more followers than both of us combined. On That's the, on not the app. because I do good TikToks. Um, yes, you, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that. No, I wouldn't say I that. Think you have some great. You work. have some. You have some bangers. If if you want to, I pull remember that one the up. one when we were in proper lockdown and you just were hammering a nail into the wall and I was like, "You record me," and I did. And I was like, "What is this? I was this hammering isn't a, anything." It was actually a screw. <laughs> but yeah, that's we, about my. Our, yeah, we were, oh, we were hanging the prowess. curtain. The curtain rods. That's right. Um, that's fun. Well, I reached out to you. <laughs> yeah yeah and what did you say i can't i'm not gonna actually read the message because it, it brings me actual i don't remember what it okay said. good do you get anxiety well, I'll remind you. i can pull it up yeah, right it makes now, me actually. it makes me want to i have it on my phone <laughs> should i pull it up no 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 no, no summarize no. i'll summarize um i had been drinking a little bit oh we, drinking. we talked a little bit. i don't remember a weird moment. no 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 i said every now and then i check to see cause at that point i think my name was in your bio Yes, and I, I was ta- I was uh, a little bit like, <laughs> so taken bad. aback at that difficult time, and then <laughs> you best your hang on, I just like had a little bit of a Connor, warm you're wearing a Sherpa. Take the Sherpa. I'll tell you what, the Sherpa under the light, it's like a rough combo for body temperature. But I I DM'd you and I said every now and then I check to see if my name is still in your bio. Like my grandpa has a memorial bench on a golf course that we got for him when he passed. And this is my bench on the golf course. This is your bio? You did not write. No, that. I. You did. I believe I did. I don't think I read it. Oh, good. Oh, or maybe I just well, I blocked off. it out. <laughs> <laughs> How about it? Pop off. The what chair. were you worried about? Oh, you were you wearing a long sleeve? sleeve. Do you have something under that? It was cold. This is this morning. the food poisoning setting in? Cold. Oh, I'm yeah. Your the sausage was a gray that I had not seen in a meat. <laughs> it was before like before today. Also, the place had like. Like such a smell. Oh, it was fish. Was, bake. There, was there nowhere <laughs> else for you guys to? No, go? the thing is, like, if it's me and Connor, like, it's gonna ha- we're gonna have to end up somewhere like that, and it make okay. and it makes sense. We constantly. Get- <laughs> I get it. I actually understand. You know, that. yeah. We constantly get waiters that like. <laughs> she just came up over our table and was standing, and I was like, "Hi, yeah. yes. <laughs> Can I help you?" I was actually. I thought she was mad at me for a second, yeah. but she's just an internal processor, I think. Yeah. So, um, An should we do our, oh my God, you're scaring the shit out of me sorry. with your, with your food poisoning. I'm starting to, I'm starting to, um, Ooh. show. Well, we I'm have a really, to, there's a bit of oozing happening. Uh, the more I talk about it, the worse it gets. So 
Yeah. Let's move forward. You want like a cold co- conference? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. A washcloth. You want the rest can... of this coffee? That'll help. <laughs> that should be good. Yeah. yeah. Move oh, it along. Uh, is it showing? Can you guys see how much I'm sweating? Yeah. No. Case? Yeah. Is it, is it clear? <laughs> is it picking up on the on the cam? No. It's charming. It's endearing. Mm-hmm. Do you think the sweat? It's earnest. Good word. Good word of the week. Hi, guys. Hi. We, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Tinder. It starts with a swipe. Mm-hmm. So many possibilities really are just a match away. Tinder is the world's most popular dating app, all right? For a reason, probably, Brooke. That means the most opportunity to find whatever it is you're looking for. Success on Tinder can mean whatever you want it to. Every week, 1.5 million Tinder users go on an IRL date. What does that mean? In real life. So, like, physically, they're going on a date. That's awesome to go out and about. While other apps are hard, Tinder makes dating fun and easy. Tinder has now reached relationship goals, a new status for your profile that shows others what type of connections you're looking for. Whether you're looking for a long-term relationship or an open relationship, Tinder makes finding your match easier. Relationship goals is just one of many features that Tinder has released to make sure you're comfy on the app. Tinder also has more safety features than any other dating app. I'll just leave you with this. On Tinder, it starts with a swipe. Download Tinder today and explore all of the possibilities yourself. Word of the Morgan, I have a question for you and I don't know if you're allowed to say. Okay. Are you allowed to say what you do? I make money. Yeah. As... (laughs) Well, you know, it's like I make money as a personal assistant, but it's right. like not the goal. It's I'm not yeah. a lifer. You yeah. know, it's a lot. The internet often thinks that I work for her. But right. Funny. Morgan is a writer. Yeah. I am a writer. Yes. Morgan, that's medium. amazing. Uh, you you are really funny. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and I'm do do working on up? that. Yes. So, so does he. I know, and he's doing way better than I am. So no, no, no. I mean, actually, like doing legitimate stuff and not doing open mics next to abandoned mattress stores on Western well, could we Avenue. I would to totally. Western Avenue? You do? Yeah. I'll come to your stand-up. Will you? Yeah. yeah. I have a show um, once a month in Malibu at Aviator Nation. It's, oh, it was Malibu good. I saw that far. online and that looked fun. It was. was. I'll come to Malibu Just for this. Thinking. It would be fun. We could do oyster brand. Oy- we could yeah. Broad Street Oysters. And then this sounds jump in like the ocean. The pandemic fun I was looking for. This is great. When no pandemic we can is jump left. In the ocean. I will come to the west side for this. Okay, and I go to Malibu. Too. I'll go to this is nice. Okay, We've made a plan. We have a plan. I love having something to show. And I'm a follower upper, so I will. Yes, do as that. we know. Okay. And we've I have to tell you. So I bombed last week. That was the first time I've ever bombed, and it was it's at Hollywood uh, Improv. Humbling. Did people boo you? If like they didn't do it, but they were so not into me that I felt like they like they You'd were gonna all that they boot. rise up and, and right. kill me and oh, have my, my head God. on a stake through the streets like parade it. They wanted it's... me dead. And you know who I opened up for? Who? I don't oh, know. Oh, who's that woman on Abbott oh. Elementary right now? Who's Chessie from, from Parent Trap. Trap? Lisa Ann Walton. Oh, she's I opened so for her, funny. And she goes, That was re- that was a really good set. And I said, Lisa Ann <laughs> That's nice. You're not a liar. <laughs> I know what I did up there. Mm-hmm. It's funny you say that I did the first time I felt like I bombed was my friend Brett, he hosts these really fun backyard shows at his cousin's in Glendale. And like, just it's cool because it's like low stakes, but he gets like legitimate comedians who are just there like testing material. And I accidentally ended up being the last one. So I'm like, okay, so I'm somehow the headliner. This kid that went before me, he's a working comedian. He's hilarious. And he was just like, joke, 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 joke. And killing it. And my style, like I do more storytelling Mm -hmm. kind Uh of comedy. And I was just like, oh, fuck, I'm in my head. And then I did it. And I was like, well, that was terrible. And Brett was like, Morgan, you did so great. I was just like, just fuck off, Brett. Yeah. Don't lie to me. Okay. And I went home and I took a shower and I was sad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's great. You just shower it off and you. It is. It's just so sobering. You guys are really so, oh. so brave. Yeah. I... Could you do it? No. Me neither. We can all open for you and I'll bomb on purpose. So then you feel more incredible. <laughs> I an low key pray. I'm like, please bomb the person in front of me. <laughs> the person in front of you. If you want, if you want them actually. <laughs> I can sign up and go on no, before the two of you. And then, I feel like you would. And be then funny. I will She's get funny. the Her crowd really ready yeah. Yeah. for something that's actually funny. But actually, no, we don't want him to bomb because you want the crowd to be Warm. in a good mood, be like ah. all warmed up and all like this. And they're like, we're loose. Okay, it's why they have the two drink minimum. I get it now. 
Right. I totally oh. get it. I'm like, lube everybody up. I need the I blackout drunk so they don't so know if they I, have a good I want to hot box the entire yeah. room before I yeah. walk in. I think that they should all be stoned. I should be able to like fart in a jar and they're crying laughing. They have to fart in jars. If I needed to, I would. I, I wouldn't what write it off. That? You could sell that. There's a market I've for heard, it. I've heard. Oh, no. you could sell a lot of things. Let's. Did you have? Do you have something in mind? No, just anything you can think of. Sell it. Yes. People sell farts in jars. Yeah. Farts in jars. I don't personally, but I've thought about it. Although, like, who's to say that like you are farting in the jar? Like, how do you verify? The, the buyer. We used to do buyer that in, beware, it's back in, I went video. on a, yeah. oh, video a video confirmation. Oh, you video do video proof. confirmation? Mm -hmm. You have to send a video along with it. How do you, Very how cool. did, did you, have you, do you, how do you know that? If I tried <laughs> to sell something like that, I think people would know about it. That's a, that's a pretty good point. Um, I cover it all I up. I feel like that'd I work be as a, person PR. a pretty gross story that someone would have picked up on. No, I haven't tried right. that yet. Yeah, this account. <laughs> No one even knows. <laughs> right. <laughs> you just, it's my hobby. That's right. I'm like, Our jars. It's like a headless like. body. Yeah. Woman entrepreneurship. Love it. I stand for it. No, I haven't attempted right. anything. It's, an it's always an option. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> it's always there. Okay. Connor came up with a really exciting segment for today. <laughs> and I'd really like you to tell everyone the name. The name is what uh, I came up with. Like the, <laughs> we didn't. The name are we of doing the it? The name of the segment is is better than the segment. Got it. So and we're just really excited about. We it. We had trouble actually building out. I told we you we had, had a really hard time. Kind of the body of the, mm -hmm. the segment. Mm. We did have a bit of a like fall off. It's like if a painter was like, "Oh, I'm such a good painter," and then once brush hits canvas, nothing. It's crystal clear. So that's here, kind of how we work. Yeah, got it. So it's kind of figured out on the way. But this segment is called. Scenarios for Diderio. That's funny. And then so and then we. Do you we, get it? I get it. Now it took. I it took me a second. <laughs> so it's like. But where, I. I understand we, yeah. now. Where did we lose you? Um, wasn't sure at first what scenarios meant, and then I realized. Well, if your name I, was my brain, I understood scenario. Didio, I get, right, yes, it could be scenarios for for Diderio or scenarios for Diderio, depending on the kind of mood you're in. I yeah yeah that's. All right, yeah, with a scenario. And the very okay. good. And so you, in you this well. situation, oh, you are okay, you're the Diderios. One. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Like a family we feud. Are, we are family. Okay, Connor, this, this is the first one is, family. you know, that. So, yes. Yeah. And it. It doesn't make it's the way it's worded, written. That first one is yeah, just. It's. It's. It, it's not. Too. Let me. Fr let me reframe that first, that first one. one. Really right. <laughs> it's really. Okay. So. <laughs> This is this is not written correctly. I wrote that in a rush. I haven't. Well, answer. I just feel like the yeah. answer is is obvious. Okay, not for well, me. I don't have a husband. I'm gonna reframe. I'm gonna reframe. Or they've taken it off the screen, mm. so I can't read it. The hypothetical for you guys is: Would you rather bang your significant other in? Let me frame that. Hang on, I can say that better. Would you rather bang your dad's body, but your husband's Inside. conscious like freaky friday type situation or your husband's body but it's your dad in there <laughs> and does I that make sense no it does it, it does, does make horrible sense i gotta it, it's uh, really bad off i mean gut reaction i gotta go with uh, there's a there's a right answer i gotta go with way. dad's body because i yeah. can't like intimately be like knowing i'm making eye contact with Ooh, I just got sorry we can't talk about this Doug would body. be ashamed my question <laughs> makes me like it's very strange. uncomfortable yeah it's a thinker well, it's, it's a, a scenario. Is this, no. It's a scenario. This is the hard hitting stuff you were trying to talk about at the cafe mm -hmm. over. Oh, this sausage. was what we were eating, uh, discussing over, over our food poisoning. This, so that is the right answer, right? Yeah, for I'm me going, that is. I'm going the opposite. Really? What's funny is a lot mm -hmm. of guys do not say that about like their girlfriend. They would rather bang their girlfriend's body with their mom's conscious. I'm doing that. Well, that's because mommy issues. It's like mommy. It's very Freudian. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Boys are. Mom and boys, yeah. it's wild. It's tough. It's, it's, a, it's a tough nut to swallow. I, I like think it's either like you're protecting yourself or protecting your dad. And I'm choosing to protect myself in this scenario by having sex with my boyfriend's body. I think you're protecting, but if you do, if you I'm do not, it with, that's me hurting my if dad. If you do it with like the, the body. Th Ew. Um, you're actually, will he know when he swaps? He, does, he will. Unfortunately, he will. When he swaps back. Mm -hmm. He will have that. Information. This is just a lose-lose <laughs> all around. Yeah, it's a bad one. Yeah. Ew. Um, 
Brooke, I didn't know that about you. Like, <laughs> I think that that's just like the right answer. Unfortunately, <sighs> for me, What's and it's another? not meant. It's not meant to have an answer. It's meant to just lead to discussion. You know, so you don't have to answer. Just it's all about this. Look, I mean, discourse. I think, I think you're probably right. I mean, yeah. but they're both horrible choices. I mean, Ooh. and and. It's is just this to like save a life or is this just no. it happened I'm not upon sure. you? No, no life saving involved. It's just it's just, this is is just what it is. You're it's not even like gun to your head, you have to do this it's to live. It just, just happens. Right. Okay. You just have to. You just have to. At yeah. the end of the day, it's a scenario. <laughs> a scenario. Yeah. yeah. Scenario. <laughs> yeah. Scenario. Okay. Fun one. <laughs> Great. Um, so I am good. <laughs> Did you Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, next one. Yeah, well, that... you know, I wanted to say, speaking of We husbands, can talk about this you... for longer. Let's dive yeah. in. Okay. <laughs> you got married in New Orleans. I'm going to a wedding in New Orleans on Wednesday. Fun. Thanks, that's all I had to say. It's, it's... It, was it awesome? It was. When you parade, God. like, I don't know if that's the right word. Yes. Parade through yeah. the streets. Oh, it's very, um, it's, it's. The energy. Oh, the energy. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful, cool thing to do. You go and you parade through. And then, you know, there's a lot of drinking, which is great for a wedding because then everyone thinks they had the best time ever, even if they. Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to drink at your own wedding? I think it just <laughs> depends. I chose not to. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm also like old. Drink and older. Uh -huh. yeah, I'm drinking for two. Yes. Yeah, I think I'll have to. Two. Yeah. I think I'll just be so nervous to be in front of people that I'll have to maybe black out. Why yeah. Have it's either ends of the yeah. spectrum, I've noticed. I've not seen moderation. It's like either, you know, you drink nothing and you wake nothing. up. Right, or right. You're right. Like, you don't just get tipsy. Or like makeup's a little runny, sleepy eyes, like, I'm having the best time. Right. Yeah, <laughs> no. you don't want to get there for sure. Right. It's, and I don't need to remember it because there will be pictures and yeah. you can just fill in the, fill fill the blanks. The, and the rest is And you'll have a great unwritten. time. Yeah. Natasha. Exactly. Good Natasha. Yeah. I, the at Go Get Him Tiger when we got coffee, mm -hmm. uh, they were playing. Uh, Hillary Duff, Lizzie oh. McGuire movie, the big grand finale song, and we learned she hadn't seen that. Wait, Just what's the big grand? The, the tide is high, but I'm holding on. No, um, what dreams are made of? Like, oh, you know, right. of they were playing that. Out. They were playing that. The and slow I was like, man really? version. The what version? Like the slow one where it's the guy that's like, hey now. Yeah. No, they did just her Pop. the CD release version of it, not the so the actual movie. Yeah, the actual movie. They don't but have that her... on Spotify. They just have one by Trisha Paytas. Do you know who that is? Sure. They just yes. have the Trisha Paytas yeah. version. Yes. I didn't know yeah. that. And that's all they have. I don't have. There's no Hillary version on Spotify, so I need that CD. I have the Lizzie McGuire okay. soundtrack CD. I can maybe get my I sister watch, to send it to me. Maybe I should watch the movie. You love the, the first, movie. For it's the first wonderful. Time. It is one of the best movies. It's in feel, the world. It's feel good. It's, 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 a, it's a, more than feel good. I completely of... missed it. Well, I guess. I guess I'm. Uh, was this a reference to how old I am? No. no because remember, I said you just missed it because you and my sister are the same age. That's and right. She didn't miss it. So it's a it's a story of trials and tribulations and ups and downs. I don't know why Did I don't you, like Connor talking about Liz McGuire. I don't think he's representing her well enough. That's the I don't thing. Know why. Morgan, we get into this every week. <laughs> um, There's something like Connor, like his childhood was different. So it's I was, like I was outside. He was outside. He wasn't consuming was the outdoor kid. The yeah. kind of media, yeah, that most of us were consuming. So he just doesn't know what I'm talking about ever. So it's, it's a little hard. I don't sometimes. know what it was. I was like, he doesn't get it. No, not to I, attack you. Thanks but... for seeing that. I am the one who has seen the movie. Alex is sitting here like but it's I haven't like seen it. You can it. tell that you're not. <laughs> it. But you're not. You can. Tell. I get it. I get Lizzie on her moped traveling through Europe. That's awesome for her. That's Europe. Not, I'm, she was in Rome. That's not is what it is, Rome Connor. In Asia? Like, no, it's, it's in, in Europe. Europe, but be specific. What I am guess. I wrong about? For it's just movie. like they're, you're missing the passion. You're missing the fountain the passion. she throws. I would rather Alex, who just hasn't seen it, than somebody who's not, who has seen it and doesn't have the passion. It's insane that the human experience <laughs> is so, uh, don't go, don't is start so with different. The human experience. The human experience. Do not start with the human experience. And, f and, and free will and like everything is so different for everybody. And we're all. That feel gaslighty to you? <laughs> When he starts going off about the human experience, Just like it's like every time there's like a difference, it's like the human experience. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna reroute us. <laughs> okay. So speaking of CDs and stuff, I've started. I have an, a back issue a little bit, like on my upper right, kind of. It's it's something, and I was like, I need to go to the. I need to get a massage, and I've been going to this place that influencers love, and I'm not gonna dox them because. 
not like that. I'm not malicious, especially to masseuses. So I, 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 I found this place on the boardwalk in Venice that you simply, no one speaks English. They just want you there so bad. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to take, I'm going to take the bait. I'm going to go in, get a massage, go in. Um, definitely like felt like I was going to get hives, like putting my face on this thing in this garage essentially. And I'm right before I left, I like, I just went to Air One and I bought a bunch of this like cool looking chocolate and I like had some chocolate and I'm laying in on the Venice boardwalk with my head in the hole and there's a CD player, like a boom box, um, playing only piano version of Dancing Queen. And I'm sitting there, head, old woman on my back, this song with no lyrics is playing and it's, and I started thinking about it. She was just 17. She has no idea that she's the dancing queen. And I start tearing up. <laughs> I got home. I figured out I, I ate my roommate's <laughs> mushroom chocolates. And I was like crying at the <laughs> massage parlor on the boardwalk. This was yesterday. And I'm like, she was only 17. She has her whole life ahead of her dancing queen. And she just is so in the moment. And I like learned a lesson. Did you act yesterday. awesome? Did you accidentally eat the mushroom chocolate? I promise you, because I was having, I went and got my car detailed yesterday. I got a massage. Big day. Yeah. And I was just like, I'm having such like an awesome day, but it could have been the shrooms. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I think That's scary yeah. though. Like if I started feeling like I was on shrooms, having not taken shrooms, like I, it was to a- my knowledge, I would go to the hospital because I'd be yep. like, something's really feeling not, like I feel happy and, and for that reason, I need to be checked out. You know, like by a medical professional. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't my normal state. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know my normal state, I don't think. I'm not very in touch with my body. Also, Mm -hmm. anything like... I'm drenched in sweat over here. (laughs) I could be having a situation. I I wouldn't even know. You should go to... If you come to the east side, Yeah, I've got this guy in Glendale. It's the most intimate massage you'll get. He's probably... He's like... He's either 50 or 80. <laughs> and I love this, those kind yeah, of people. He's this very tender Ukrainian man. I'm obsessed and like, with him he's already. He's really, like, he was mad at me because I didn't park where he told me to park, but I was worried about being late and, like, very, like, fatherly energy. Mm-hmm. But he was just, like, and, like, it just very warm. And then we get in there and... It's just the most intimate like hour and a half of your life. And he's like, I need you to park where I told you to park because I don't look at the clock when I'm in there. I listen to your body and whatever work needs to be done is being done. Why haven't you told me about this man? Come on over. Because he's great. Is it like an hourly parking spot that you parked in? Yeah, I parked at a meter. He doesn't want time to be Yeah, and he he really, and I just kept apologizing. I was like, I'm really sorry. I just was worried. I just panicked. Leave everything you thought you knew about your life at the door when you go in that. It was room. truly amazing, and it was two hours, and he just, like, you also have to wear, like, two hours. wear underwear that's, like, more coverage. Yeah. Because he gets... He gets in there. He, like, he pretzels you and bends you, and you're like, that's a hand right there. Oh. And, but not in a inappropriate way. You're like, I trust him. But also his hands are like, I don't know why I'm going to such a detail. Please. About no, this. go on. His hands are a little coarse. <laughs> okay. But, like, cool. he's very... And he's just like, it's amazing. He's incredible. And what, he also scares me a little. But then afterwards, he gave me little Hershey's chocolates what did he give you? and two water bottles. And then he walked me to my car with his arm around me. That feels interesting. And he was like, he's like, when I see you again, like, have a nice week, you know, all the time. And he was just, it was very. See, a lot of people wouldn't take it in the way that you're taking it. And like, <laughs> that's what I like about it. I love you. the sound. <laughs> yeah. Of it's really lovely. Which I don't know what that says about me. It, it was. I intimate. feel like being nurtured, nurtured for yeah. two oh, hours. Nice. I felt really safe and very taken care of. Where you're like, that's what I want in this experience. That's wow, and, really awesome. And he wasn't like obscenely expensive. Like you can go to these places. We live in LA, and it's yeah. like you go and you're paying for what, like a vibe, and it's a massage. Like I got one that had the gua sha, and I was like, he didn't do anything. Like break my back. Mm-hmm. You don't work on it. That's, that's why I was on the boardwalk for. That's it. what you've always said. Because the this guy. At the place, his name's Keith, I can say that because no one knows what, what, where I'm talking about. <laughs> Keith, halfway through the know. massage, big dude. I'm like, yes, like he's going to kill me back there. And that's what I was looking forward to. <laughs> I d- had to double check if Keith was even in the room. <laughs> at, like halfway through, I was like, Keith, are you there? <laughs> he was me. like the ghost of a masseuse. He was so gentle. I was like, Keith, hit me. He's like just tenderly like feathers. Yeah, and I was like, this is not like a spiritual, it's not a seance. Like I want you to. Hurt me. You want to be pretzel? Do you I want to leave and like limp out of the yeah. back room? You know, 
I feel like they should have like before you go in, like what what do how do you want to be touched? I'm sure you could you could ask. You know, too shy. Oh yeah. Can you do? I've never gotten a massage. Really? No, I don't like. I have you ever done Reiki? No, I don't. Is that when they don't touch they you? They don't touch you. I don't you like on being purpose. Touched. So that yeah. could be interesting. You might love Reiki. I How cried. That... It was really they, wonderful. You just pay the money and yeah. then you lay on a table and you. F- it's like a massage, except they, they don't do anything. They just touch you. Let... It's energetic. Ooh. It's all energetic. So they put their hands over you and they just, they fix and adjust. I'm not a, I, I'm sure I'm offending someone who does no, no, Reiki, this, but I, it, right. they, they, do stuff with your energy, but you don't get touched. And you really feel like it works. Uh, I I think it's, I don't know. I've only done it a couple times and I felt like it's nice uh-huh. to have someone sort of like care for you yeah. for an hour, but it's not really my thing. Right. So you don't, but you might like I it because right. you don't I like cry. getting touched. Yeah. Maybe. Have you done it? I only did it once. Shannon gifted it to me. And, and what do you I, think? It was really lovely. It was a nice hour. And it's like very the very warm and kind. Yeah. And then and she's like, the right side of your body is male and the left side is female. And like it was very interesting. And mm-hmm. I cried I cried at one point because it was really? just like this, you're this on strange terms. release. So you had a release. Not so you point. feel the energy like <laughs> but moving. A strange release. Yeah, it was like this like she like got to like my right knee and then it like started to like it felt really strange and then it was just like cried. I was like, oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. You hold everything in your knee. Well, this is my bad knee. Oh my yeah. God. Wow. Whoa. So I'm cool. gonna do it. Hey guys, we want to take another quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Pros. Most of you have probably heard me sing the praises of Pros and they're truly custom made to order hair care. Switching to a custom routine from Pros was one of the best things I've done for my hair. And the results I'm seeing just keep getting better. You know I like my routine when it comes to my hair. Uh Uh-huh. Well, I've never really stuck to anything because I'm always like playing around with different stuff. But then I got Pros. I already told you about this. I stopped wearing a hat every day. Right. I was wearing a hat every day. I think I was doing like two steps forward, one step back. So I was like wearing a hat because my hair wasn't looking great, but it was looking it was making it worse. a little bit dead because I was wearing a hat every day. Right. And now it's shiny. I even looked at the preview before we started. It's shiny. It smells good. It looks good. And it looks good. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Pros <laughs> knows there's more to you than just your hair type. Pros has given over 1 million consultations with their in-depth hair quiz, which is how I got started. Connor, the quiz only takes a couple of minutes. I know you're a quiz girl. I love the quizzes. It's kind of like taking just like a BuzzFeed quiz. You give it all this information about yourself, which is fun because we like talking about ourselves, Mm -hmm. where you live, your diet, exercise, stress level, etc. And then it customizes the shampoo to fit your lifestyle needs. I'm glad someone out there was able to develop this because it wouldn't have been... We may have tried to come up with the idea in, in studio, but... That's about as far as it would have gone right. with us, but somebody did it. We walk the walk, but we can't talk the talk. We that's talk fine. the talk, but we can't walk the walk. Well, we stay in our lane yeah. as well, so that's important. By analyzing over 85 personal factors, Pros handpicks clean, sustainably sourced ingredients that get you closer to your hair goals with every wash. My favorite feature is Pros' review and refine tool, which lets me tweak my formulas for any reason in case I change up my address, my hair color, or even my diet. Yeah. It's a carbon neutral certified B Corp. Pros is an industry leader in clean and responsible beauty. All their ingredients are sustainably sourced, ethically gathered, and cruelty-free. They're also the first custom beauty brand to go carbon neutral. Yeah, I love that. If you're not 100% positive Pros is the best hair care you've had, they'll take the products back, no questions asked. Custom, made-to-order hair hair care from Pros has your name all over it. Take the free, in-depth hair consultation today and get 15% off your first order. Go to pros.com slash B and C. That's P-R-O-S-E dot com slash B and C for your free in-depth hair consultation and 15% off. I, I'm i I'm to a point with my back where I'm like, I'll try Have anything. Have you tried acupuncture? Acupuncture's that's, it. That's my next okay? thing. My arm, I'm going to get it on my arm too. Um, acupuncture's everything. She got me into really? acupuncture. Saved oh, my I'm life. I'm going to do it. Truly. I'm totally going to do it. I want to try that too. I'm, that would be my first stop really? if I had a back problem. Yeah, I love it. I love Does it Does it feel so like getting a shot? No, you don't feel it. Can you feel it at all? Yeah, Mm -hmm. it feels like, um, no. (laughs) She doesn't like like that. Example of what it would maybe feel like. It feels like, (laughs) it feels like. I'm guessing based on what she's trying to tell us, but we keep. Like a nice inner (laughs) massage for a tiny part of your body. Inner massage. Yeah. Yeah, well. the right way? Yeah, like if the points that they put them on sometimes, like I went 
last Friday and it like sometimes it's a little overwhelming because you can feel like it, Mm -hmm. but it's good in a good way. And like they do your ears, which is like the representation of what is the ear? I've done the ear acupuncture. That's really your body. And um, I have pretty gnarly TMJ and Mm. they put the like, I don't know if you can hear this. Like, wait, I can can hear that. (laughs) Yeah, uh, we we got (laughs) that, I think. Wow. (laughs) Yeah, so it's super painful. And uh, they what's put happening? Him, like, what is that sound? Uh, it's my jaw misaligned and cracking all the time. It's just like a. Oh my god! Is it like <laughs> Sorry, dislocated really... from your? I don't know what's skull? going on. I should go to a, a real doctor, but they fix it with acupuncture. Wow! And it's uh, it makes the pain help not be there. That's a sentence. It makes the pain help not good. be there. It makes, <laughs> yeah, that was good. For yes. Us. Do you ever like? This is why I don't think I could get acupuncture. Like think about like what's going on in your body and then feel like you need to throw up. Like think about like blood, like moving through veins and stuff and then feel sick. I, I understand what you're saying. Like it just like makes me like really queasy to think about like what's going on right in there. Like that you have like organs and stuff. Yeah. No, it's so I feel like I would weird. be just like aware that like there's a like needle like piercing through i think this is exactly why acupuncture would be good for you (laughs) but i think i would just be so aware that i would kind of like maybe throw up a little bit you'd be able to the best naps it might not be for you it might not not be the thing is like there's not a lot of stuff for me i think (laughs) you think yeah i'm i just like do you feel like if people came with you and were in the room with you and sort of supported you through it that you could do it I think that would make it worse. We did got it. Time I don't it, like anyone to look together. at me. Because we went to that place. I take people to it. If and the scared. beds are just right there and it's really nice. And we sometimes we sleep, sometimes we chat. Okay. During well, while getting poked the, and prodded. The best you nap fall asleep. The best nap of my life is an acupuncture nap. Like you wake fall myself. During? Well, yeah, you're laying there and I've woken myself up from snoring. I'm sleeping so hard. And I'd like to think I'm not a person who I'm a person that doesn't snore, but I don't know. You lived with me. Maybe I snore. <laughs> But you're like, I think you do a little bit, not much, not much at all. Oh, I gotta go. This okay. is tragic. I'm gonna go, because Bella's. <laughs> I'm trying to broaden my. Oh, I thought you were gonna also leave because I snore. <laughs> no, I would never. I actually find snoring to be like soothing, like you ocean are, sounds. That is bizarre. Yeah, <laughs> that is crazy. It's nice. It's like the fan in your room, it's like a sound machine. Yeah, exactly. It's not like that. <laughs> It's not. It's not it's I not wouldn't weird. say it's, it's like that. I I think I'm just a mouth breather. I have mm-hmm. re- I wear reta- get the, the I wear tape. retainers. You should get the mouth tape. I I'm get afraid ads. of We're that. We're all gonna get ads on Instagram. Yeah, I'm afraid of that. I also sometimes sleep with my face down on the pillow, mm-hmm. so there's no way out if right. I have mouth tape. It feels like don't risk it. I've seen tape. Morgan falls asleep everywhere, anywhere and everywhere. I can found her on the kitchen floor. Oh, it was oh, nice yeah. and cool. I <laughs> like a cat. I <laughs> love sitting in the kitchen. I just yeah. sit in the kitchen all the time. Mm-hmm. It's like so. I kid you not. I'm a kitchen sitter. I've always said that. I love sitting in the kitchen. Something. Constant. That's it. Morgan, you falling asleep everywhere. I don't mean to bring this back to Love Is Blind. We can, but I am gonna. Did you watch? Yes. Are you okay. The latest season. Are you Let- caught up? No. Oh. oh. Well, this isn't really much of a spoiler, but in you know the premise of the show that they're speaking mm-hmm. through pods or the wall and they can't see each other. This one girl fell asleep. Oh, I saw that. While, while he was expressing his feelings for her oh. and saying that he's like falling in love and she fell asleep. Full rem. Full rem. <laughs> well, she maybe hours. it was so was soothing. <laughs> Did you see what that? she wasted? Did you see the bottle of Casamigos that was sitting on the <laughs> table in front of her and it kept going down? No, but I didn't. It, like, see didn't that. show her drinking, and then she was just passed out, and her friends had to come wake her up. I, I was like, "Oh, she's that. sauced." Okay, well, right. this is a scenario. Like, what would you do if the person who you're falling in love with blindly fell asleep while you're professing your love? I feel like if that doesn't happen to you once in your life, you, I feel like that's happened before. Yeah. Don't you feel like that's happened yeah. before? The versions of it. Yeah, I've fallen asleep on the phone with you. Yeah. Like together, we both have fun putting ourselves to bed. That's cute. Well, that's cute. I mean, I feel like I would be sympathetic about would. it, especially Super if cute. the person was drinking and mm-hmm. it was late at night. I'd try to be okay. So you're compassionate. Not a problem. Well, and I think it depends. If they were like dismissive when they woke up, right? You know, she was so apologetic. I'm sweating. Like it keeps getting worse. I'm worried about you. <laughs> what was that? Is that normal? <laughs> 
I have I never sweat this it. much in my life. I have not like this. Really? Think. But you've seen. Are you nervous? It happened. Something's like, happening. <laughs> from, within, so, from within. <laughs> Do you know um, it was a hard day. It was a tough day. An overwhelming might day. Be, I might, it didn't. Sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. No. No, I'm just, it might be a Reiki experience. Oh, for you me. think? Oh, a, energetic expulsion. Kind of. Reiki. Reiki. What was that? Reiki. Reiki. Right. Daddario, <laughs> Daddario. <laughs> yeah. Okay, would you be fine if someone fell asleep while you were professing your love? Yeah, I probably wouldn't notice because I would keep talking. That's a good point. That's, <laughs> That's a good, good point. Until they woke yes. up again. Yeah, I'd be talking, talking, yeah. talking. I'd probably fall asleep, honestly. Would it be like one of those things that's like, man, so great. Thanks for letting me say this. And then you just leave? Yeah, Don't sometimes, wait for their response? I don't think he would notice. No, sometimes yeah. better better left unsaid. Totally. Well, let me ask you this. Was the guy pissed? He was yeah. really pissed, and he said, I'm done, yeah, it's he was done, like, it's, over. it's over, and then he went in the next day completely fine. And she was, was like, I'm yeah. so sorry, and he was like, babe, no worry. Which, yeah. I gotta say, they're one of the stronger couples of the, in my opinion, it's strange talking about it because they're real people, and I know this is like a thing, but like, I love when they get together, and they're all really drunk in like the honeymoon phases, because yes. they all go to, they all meet, and you either get engaged or you don't, and then you go to the honeymoon phase, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, this isn't gonna work for a lot of them, and right. then there's the few you're like, Oh, you guys like this is good. Yeah, it's very interesting. I want the other episodes. I'm ready. I'm like, I can't. Is I, it can't. I think this the is the out? best season no, they've had is, because, because no one's like everyone's like something's wrong with everyone, which is nice. Like not nice, but like it's just like really comforting. entertaining. Yeah, and there this season is. I don't know why I keep watching all the reality TV I watch, but this season's really it's the most exciting it's, out of the three. I think it's so exciting, and I Big. would encourage everyone listening as well as these two next to me to to watch. To kind of dive in. Mm -hmm. Don't go. You don't need to watch seasons one through three. You can oh, just go right to four. Oh, really? I, in my personal opinion, because this one's really. Also, good. I saw yeah. this TikTok that was like, "Here's why it's so unhinged." Because people know that going on the show makes you like an influencer now, yeah. and like gives you a huge social media following. I would go so on people for who the are just seasons. like going on, just to get uh, Instagram followers. Oh, like that's like like um, that's it. Like, like those two girls. Name? Who are like bullies. They're not they're even looking so, for love. They're so mean. No, they're not looking for love. Girl. They're nasty. Oh, that's horrible. It's horrible. But like they clearly like just want a following and they don't care about work. who they're. The yeah. internet's going to yeah. come for you. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm going to. I Good. I'm not come on Twitter. Me. So I don't. I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm barely I, online. No, I have but. like beef with, with some of some reality star stars. You do? You do. A yeah. little bit. Like internet beef or like just in your, like you it's just don't really like funny. them. It's really, really, really? Funny. Yeah, I can, I'm, I'll, I can. He hates her. <laughs> oh, I want to, there's it one. possible to hate you. You fight, you fight Wait, with them on impossible. the internet. Yeah. Well, yeah. here's what happened. I find it very possible there's, to hate you. There's Sorry. a, um, a former cast member of Love is Blind. Which season? You don't have to say. You don't have to say. Two or three. Two. Okay. And I had like I know. made fun of this person pretty openly and he reached out via DM, stop it, mm -hmm. and said that he would um, really like to come on the podcast to kind of just like clear the air. And I, I didn't answer. Why didn't but you let him come on? I'm scared. Got it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because that would make great, don't you think, like a fight? Don't people y like that? I can't do confrontation. Look, I think that's uh, healthy. I think so, that's healthy. And so many people seek it. And the reason that I was out. kind of like, making fun of this person in the first place is because he, he's scary. Right. Oh. So do you think it's okay to make fun of someone like if they're like a stupid guy on a dating show? I think it, uh, you go ahead. Or is that bullying? Are you guys pro or anti-bullying? <laughs> in, in, <laughs> specifically if it's like a situation like like described. I I mean, I'm anti-bullying, but yeah. what did this guy do? I assume. I'm also anti-bullying. Well, say that. knowing there you as well as I know you yeah. from watching your TikToks. Mm -hmm obsessively that this guy must have done something. Yeah, he was just like not But I don't want to get dragged in. He was I not, don't want to get You're going to get I don't want to get well, it's like when you're on TV like You're going to get a DM. DM. Hey, I heard you talking about me. I don't even know who it is. I'll tell you I'll tell you after okay. and I can tell Off the, the rest of um the listeners in the close friends episode but um he was just like not treating his woman well not his woman he doesn't own her but like he wasn't the, treating his, his woman his <laughs> and his fiance he was not treating her well so it's like okay then I, I don't mind making fun of you this show is brought to you by better help connor i'm constantly learning new things about myself like what as we've discussed um for example i like rain 
in Pennsylvania, where I'm from, I don't like rain in Los Angeles. And I'm that's sure what I've learned about myself. Understand. Probably I don't even think it's... Oh, it's, yeah, it Because is. the rent is, is higher yeah. here. You're like, why would I pay to live here if it's going to rent? Right. I'm just... That's, I, that's, a good, that's a good point. That's my feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process. That's true. That is true. Especially because we're always growing and changing. Therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding. Because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way we do until we talk through things. I love every time I hear that. I, I think better help because I get to hear that once a week, mm -hmm. basically. But BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. And talking with a therapist lets me speak freely the same way I do on this podcast. Uh -huh. but um, I also know a lot of people who have gone to therapy and really enjoyed the positive effects and changes it has made in there mm -hmm. as well. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime at no additional charge. I feel like going, you like going to the therapist. I love it. I wouldn't. Because I'd be like, ah, like I, because of more of the commute to and fro. Oh, got it. So better I'd, help seems like I'd be like, this is actually taking a toll on my mental. Okay. Doing it online would be perfect for me. I could eat grapes at home. Well, if I felt Connor, so I've got a code for you to do just that. <laughs> Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash B A N D C today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H-E-L-P dot com slash B-A-N-D-C. It's interesting with reality TV because I, you, it's like that thing you have to remove it. Like be like, oh, I have to remember you're a real person. Right. Just like playing a version of yourself in this thing. It's not like they're like, you know, it's not like a role that you take mm -hmm. on. You know, it's. I mean, I'm not allowed to say anything. Pro bullying. Anyone. Oh, you can't talk about. Well, I wouldn't say anything pro bullying anyway. Right. To no. Just totally. to clear. Just to clear, clear the, the air, air I'm <laughs> anti-bullying. Yeah, we're we're all. How do you feel about? I don't have a secret desire to no. bully. No. She's not raging what out. About <laughs> global warming, could that be maybe good? To discuss? No, just is it? Do you could like it? Be it? a positive thing? Maybe? No, I don't. Th you think? Because it is. It's pretty, been pretty cold. That's an interesting recently. So if you think about it in terms of comfort and brunch, like it. Right. Brunch that you couldn't go to because the cafe was closed. <laughs> Wait, no, that's me being stupid. Wouldn't it be warmer? Yeah, I'm saying, <laughs> like, I would love to wear a t-shirt. I would love... Oh, so you're anti-global warming. No, I'm pro. Oh, because it's cold? Because yeah, it's, it's been cold, cold right in now. Los Angeles. I'd love to Got go it. to the beach. It's been raining here for, like, love the three rain. months, and, and no I one can talk about it. I love the yeah. rain. It's not good for me. The rain? And no. It's seasonal. Like, energy-wise? Depression? No, what happened was... Um, a bunch of skunks in my neighborhood oh. took refuge from the rain under my mm -hmm. house and were living there. Getting in the where to the point with the heat spraying. So you could they were how spraying. many okay. how many skunks are we? Seven talking? families. Seven families. Seven families of skunks? That's, That's correct. How many and it's skunk mating season. How many households or how many in a household? So if there's seven are households by the skunks? Of skunk how many are in a unit of skunks? Unclear. I mean, I guess it depends on how many children they have mm -hmm. after mating season. We're talking 40, 50 skunks <laughs> under your house. It smelled like it. Wow. wow. Yeah. So Thankfully, the rain. Eunice, did Eunice get sprayed? No, Eunice did not. That's lucky. No. Did you? No, no human or animal got sprayed. Just kind of the surrounding area. Just kind of like in your home. the HVAC mm -hmm. unit and up through the floor. That's awesome. Yeah. So the rain's been negative for me. Okay. A, a net negative. And what do you, like, how do you get rid of them? A man came over. And he said, um, I'm going under. And I said, you can't go under there. There's a bunch of skunks. Yeah. You're going to get sprayed. And he said, I serve humanity. And if you don't want to do this and get into the skunk business, you don't want to get sprayed, then you need to get out of the business. Um, some version of that. Can I ask, like, and he... he like smell like a like he, he was did. maybe kind of sprayed by a skunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That make that especially yeah. after he went under the yeah. house. Yeah, and he, he wow. came and he like put some stuff on his belt and he had like a thing and he went under the house and all these skunks ran ran out. I love the idea of a skunk. Yeah. This feels like you love do the, love the idea. What Why? a special character. They're cute. Yeah, yeah. they're like dogs oh. with that smell like farts. I don't they <laughs> I don't know, but they're. At their core, they're cool looking. <laughs> yeah. And 
they have a power, like a they super power. They are cool looking. I did see them and I originally and was like, that's so cool. Yeah. Crazy, I've never real. seen a skunk in person. Cute. Right. I bet they are cute. cute. They are. There's a possum Can't they get at my their house? stink sacks removed? I guess you don't know how to you do can. that. I, I wouldn't. No I think it's, do I don't know that. if it's humane. I don't know. The oh, that's a deal, good point. But You're co- you, know. you guys are good at covering your, your bases with like making sure you're. P's and Q's. Yeah. You're pro skunk humane. Yeah. Yeah. You are really good because. We kind of get taken down all the time for just like not thinking before we speak. We've been asked to not speak on things we don't know anything about. Which I know is the point of the podcast. I know all, nothing. We took all media time. training before coming. Oh, yes, oh, that's, that's why we were we getting coffee. We need media, media training. training. Yeah. yeah. Very I'm important. anti-bullying, by the way. I just want to make that. <laughs> later, I want to make that over. very clear. Yes. Period. I don't have anything else to say on that. <laughs> I don't think I didn't hear what you said about that guy, but it was it mean. Um. I didn't. Mm, uh, but, no. Yeah. A Did little. you come for his character? No. Like his inner being, like really. You can't say. I, I guess what it you is. Did. I guess it's, it wasn't good, honestly. All right. Well, we don't but need it, to talk I'm about anti bullying. Yeah. I think just, you know, I learned <laughs> and I grew. That's what's important. <laughs> and we know your heart. Yeah. And I won't do it again. And that's awesome. Put a cap on Yeah. So you guys have a basic general rule here that you don't say anything negative about anyone in oh, the public eye. It gets, uh, I, it, it gets back to people. Yeah. We always think about this podcast like, oh, like we can kind of say whatever. Like it gets back to people. It's bizarre. Yeah. I mean, like you heard us talking about you in a obviously great way. But thank God, because otherwise <laughs> you I imagine? would be in your DMs. Like, come after you. We met yeah. Challenging you. We met Alex at her, at her this would be a very she different. smelled like a skunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, when people say mean things <laughs> about one. me, or, <laughs> yeah, what is that? I probably do smell like a skunk. It no, probably no, has but... seeped into the. I clothes. wouldn't be able to smell you past the amount of sweat that is I'm coming off my body. About you, yeah, I might be in, in, in an anaphylactic dying? situation. Your eyes are a little watery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he scratches cornea. I did scratch my today. cornea. Oh, you did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I horrible. had a shitty day. No, oh, I'm sorry. Had, it's okay. Your hair is like <laughs> feeling like. Sea spray because of the salt of the sweat. It's like you have that like beach wave, think about from, which you love, which you love. <laughs> the thing about Connor is he goes to the ocean and gets a jar of um, ocean water yeah. to put in his hair. Oh, nice. do you really? Yeah, I oh, did that when we were in sea spray. Yeah, I tried to not wash my hair at all when we were in Hawaii. I was like, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. I just jumped in the ocean every day. Yeah, we went for long periods of time without showering yeah. at all. I couldn't it was great. do that, but that's nice. I wish well, I we were could. bathing just, in the ocean. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Did you guys want to touch on Philly really quick? Because I know at the beginning, before we started, you guys were talk- like wanted to talk about Philly. Yeah. You're I just antsy, but it. I just got excited because I grew up. I'm. We all have connections yeah. to Philly. My mom's from Philly, mm-hmm. and I grew up in the suburbs of Philly. I grew up in Westchester. Did we talk about this? We might have. I don't know. It was a blur that night that we met you yeah. guys because it was such a. Because that's come not very far from <laughs> same where I grew up. No, it's very oh, close. I grew we up where we were. Yeah, where did Lower you... Marion, like the main yeah. line. If we, you... I know that we talked about. This. We talked about the. Main I know line. the main line, and then we moved to Exton. I moved to Exton in high school, and you know, main line. And the rest is history. The rest is it. It's, wow, I do love Philly. I why? Yeah, it's a great city. I I don't know. What if do I... you mean why? I I just genuinely like. Why not? The city of brother, brotherly love, right? <laughs> Yeah, and, and the I Eagles. also like. I think it's always sunny in Philadelphia. That's my favorite show on the planet. Uh, my favorite it's show. Wait, were you on an episode? <laughs> yes. And Holy that's shit! The I forgot. Only but thing I'm jealous I of. Forgot. Only because it's my favorite. It was my favorite show. Wait, what? What was your episode? I just had like a like a war flashback it's, of you being in an episode. <laughs> um, where I am. Um, oh my god. Oh my Charlie? god. I was Sorry. dating Charlie. Yes. And then he dumped me. And the brother, me. the other, you had a brother, right? Yes, we're like the rich The rich kids. And, you, and you actually liked Charlie. Yes. And the brother was doing it as a joke. Yeah. D. And he, he rejects me mercilessly. <sighs> yeah. That is a good Dream episode. That is Because he loves the waitress. But yeah, no, I loved that show so much that I've I- I've seen every episode I, 50 times. Ru- I think I was in Las Vegas by myself at a, I, I was- drove to Vegas to see Steve Martin play the banjo by myself yeah. at the time. We love Which that's is the healing. thing I that's thing healing. I do, yeah. And um I got the call for the audition and so I drove right after the the Steve Martin concert, I drove 
through the night back to LA to get to my 10 a.m. audition wow. the next day. And you killed it. That I, is I got the job. Done. Genuinely wow. bone chilling. You were also have, on have, bone uh, chilling. That, bone chilling. I've never heard that. In a positive way. Good. I assume. Bone well, my bones are chilled too because <laughs> you were on New Girl too. Yes. Was that the same kind of situation? Like you liked the show and then, or you didn't watch it? No, I like New Girl. Uh-huh. It's not like my. It wasn't your Always Sunny. It wasn't my Always That's Sunny. That's my Always yeah, Sunny. But it's hard to, to beat. It's Always Sunny for mm-hmm. me. They could come out with a million new TV shows, obviously with Mayfair Witches on the CW being the exception That's to the not show. on the CW. Oh, AMC. AMC, sorry. Got no worries. <laughs> um, my bad. I would watch Always Sunny and Curb and Seinfeld on repeat. You same episodes forever. I'm going you through Curb. We have the same taste. That over her. No, I you said just, with that, we have the same taste. Oh, with that, we have exception. the same okay. taste and sh- opinions on shows and taste on cut shows, I from feel. the same goddamn feel, cloth. And I yeah. always know. I always know, don't I? With <laughs> Who's people that watch you're that, cut from? That watch those shows. I'm like, say less. That's it. That's all you. That's all I have to know. I know. I need to person. watch. It's always have you sunny, not seen? But I haven't. Have you seen Curb? I love Curb. It's it's like genius. I can't really binge it as much. I've been binging it, and I have to take breaks because then I just find myself like walking through the world really as Larry, like oh, you know, really jacked Brooke, up. It, Brooke knows I have an issue becoming with becoming. embodying Larry. Yeah, yeah. If I watch it too much, mm-hmm. like, yeah, yeah we can't in sit small at the doses. Table. It's wobbly. Yeah, it pisses. Me. Yeah, yeah. I like this new renaissance of people like actors being able to say. I didn't like this show that I was on. Like, I feel like that that wasn't a thing recently, or maybe it's TikTok or something, but like Jen Ortega coming out and being like, I don't like the writing of Wednesday and like all that stuff. Who, I don't know if that's a good thing. That? I think it's refreshing. It's putting the power back in like Would you people that are working that on the show. And be like, I didn't like this. Um, I think if I felt comfortable doing that, I would have done it already. Uh-huh. I feel like... Of course, there's going to be stuff that you don't like that you work on. And of course, it's not like every situation is perfect. Mm -hmm. Um, But I also, well, first of all, you get, you have, I have respect for the people that, you know, putting a show together is really hard work and everyone tries their best. Um, And I also don't, I don't, uh, I'm like you, I don't want to deal with. Anti bullying. Yeah, I don't want to. De- I don't want to yeah. deal with someone coming yeah. back at me, being like, "How dare no, you I say know. that about the writing? Exhausted. You're an awful actress." Yeah, I think you I know? just like watching it from afar. You like just, you just right. like the line. You yeah. watch the world right. burn. Well, Jenna Ortega <laughs> right. did it, and then they gave her EP. She's like an executive well, producer now. Yeah, but that sh- that show is like. Bad. One of the biggest shows on oh. television. No, it's not bad. I did not. I I failed it. to understand the concept after one. <laughs> I, I said, "Why is this is?" That was gonna get Adams. back to her. I don't think the show is for. She, I mean, I don't know how old you are. Uh, me neither. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. It's like, is it for our age range? I think I don't it's know. Supposed I mean, to be, every, I mean, it's apparently for everyone. The, everyone. I mean, uh, so many people watch that show that. It's the new highest the highest, highest record. Yeah, I feel like every show that comes out it's now like the biggest is, show on television. Yeah. I'm not current. <laughs> but you okay. don't need to be. I'm not current at all. But we have Always Sunny and Seinfeld and Curb. It's for us. It's for us. And <laughs> only us. It's our special day. Could we end on one more scenario with the Diderios? Yeah, we'll do a quick one. I okay. Guys, I'm reading these. and You guys have a hard out. Okay, wait. Would you rather have, if you lean too far this way or too far this far? I don't know what degree wise that would be. This far or this far, that respective eye falls out. You got to get it. Like a ping pong ball bouncing Every away. Time. I don't understand the question. Like if you lean too far this way or too far this way, I'd say like right there, that eye pops out and just... Like, and you would, I, spew would I rather have that or not have or, that? Or, you, you know, or, like in... No, that's not... You know what I'm not, talking about in the... Yeah, like, but it would... It, in Anastasia, like if for you, people if who you don't know. If you weren't used to it or like you're at a wedding and you're dancing, you're like, nobody move. My eye freaking fell out again. You have to just deal with that. And you're on a bus. If... I can't imagine a scenario where you would be on a public bus, but if Why you were, I have, yeah, we, in New York we ride the we, oh, the, we ride the bus. We ride the bus in New York. The bus in New York, amazing. Public transit. Oh my god, I love the bus. You guys Whoa. should take the bus. Really, I don't, I don't in New York City, good to know. The bus it's great. Or it's because I'm from there. I can't. Oh yeah, I'm all into anyway. Buses. I don't want what. Yes, yeah, there's what, another. You heard it here first. Okay, groundbreaking. Yeah. Alex is a bus girl. Pro bus. 
A lot of Thank firm you. stances Thank from this so episode. Yeah, we're really <laughs> breaking breaking stuff down. Is this like the, this seems like a would you rather. So and then yeah, the would you rather. Yeah. Kind of a hard time. <laughs> so, yeah. Have your eye fall out or have nothing happen. <laughs> right. Yeah. Or have all your skin be like the consistency yeah. and moistness of a cat's tongue. No. Like a little bit damp. Like I'll my deal body with right the, now. I'll deal with the you just eye. Like camaraderie. I'll deal with the eye falling out. Okay. And I'll just keep my yeah. really steady. I feel like you. Uh, is an you eye pack? I can. Option? I can do it. You are I doing feel it right like now. I'm doing it right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. That feels close. fine to me too. You feel comfortable with I, that? I feel comfortable. I'm, using using cat the eye. I'm going cat's tongue too. <laughs> I like the way me? a cat's tongue feels. Yeah. Okay, but imagine your yeah. <laughs> imagine your masseuse I'm fine with that. But it would look weird. Wet sandpaper vibes. I'm would okay it look it. like would why. it look like a cat's tongue? It would look a little bit different. It just looks like what you, I'm like. You know, I can wear. I don't know why. I'd rather. I think I'm I too. <laughs> oh, me too. I mean, all you have to do is yeah. pop we your eyeball back in. No big deal. Yeah, but, like, mm. but what if someone that's, steps that's on it? Everyone what else's if, problem, and yeah, you get the ick, you know, and you see someone trying to chase something down. I would definitely. I mean, you'd get the ick you, you if you saw someone. Yeah. Would you get the ick if you saw someone's eye fall out? I'm getting on the a ick date. Nonstop. I uh, nonstop. The, my newest ick: bird scooters. See someone on a bird scooter? That's the great leveler for losership. Is no one looks cool on a bird scooter? I have to disagree. I look really cool on a bird scooter. You think you look cool, but then from a like, if you see a Who picture, cares of yourself, if you look cool, you get from A to B so much faster cheaper than an oh, Uber I, too. I love it. I didn't realize you guys are so I think hardcore public transit, <laughs> ladies. I love it. I think We're it's women a, of the people. Where you're going. Seriously, are you running for governor? <laughs> Breaking uh, news. <laughs> Public office. That's the next. So you step. never, you never ride the. the oh, scooters? I ride them every day. Oh, you do. Yeah. This just seems like you have. This just, is all of your internal hatred that you are projecting out into the world. Well, the ick is well, you just got the hit internal by a car. ick. I did but get, then you're like on a bird. I got barreled on it by a car. Oh, gee. Yeah. yeah. Was horrible. it your fault or the car's fault? Who wasn't oh, looking? It was my, yeah, it's mine. Were you sober? Wait, we shouldn't say that. Don't answer that because yeah, don't technically answer that. Do not I was answer sober. As your attorney. Okay. I couldn't figure out. It was one of those weird ones where the brake was like a throttle brake, and I couldn't find it, and I just was like, okay, here we go. <laughs> Jesus. Christ, we're we're back. When did that happen? Uh, 2019. Is that why your back hurts? Maybe. <gasps> oh, my da -da 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 -da. God. Good job, wow. Morgan. Thank you. Full I was, circle. I was in the air for so long that I was like, am I still in the air? Like, I had enough time to be like, whoa. And then I hit the ground. <laughs> wow. Prompt I'm glad that you room. made it through that, because that's... That sounds scary. Bad. You wouldn't have this podcast definitely, otherwise. Yeah, definitely scary. Well, you would have a podcast of your own, you I would feel. I think you could pandemic. carry this. That's really nice, Morgan. Yeah. That is so kind. I would love to bring this. you on as my co-host if if he if we ever lose him to, to the could, bird. Could be this afternoon. Scooter. You're out. <laughs> um, I think we wrap. Okay. You guys, you got to get out of here. Do you do an outro? Oh, you said you don't do oh. an outro. Well, outro. Is that the word? The outro. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining the podcast. The podcast with Brooke and Connor. Brooke and Connor make a podcast Very together. Good. Thanks, everybody. With Alex and Morgan. With Thank Alex you guys. and Morgan. And we the new regular co host. Love yeah. you. Thank you so much for Thank oh, you, yeah. guys. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys. Bye, Bye guys. everyone. This week on Close Friends. Can you see what happens when you text me because I made my own, like, custom do not disturb and it says making a P with C? It actually just said delivered. And yeah, it why am I getting it. notifications? My phone is vibrating on my BNC mode. They manifested themselves getting their own appendix. Well, people manifest out. having a tumor all the time because they have a headache. My biggest fear is getting my appendix removed. Okay, well, like that is. Don't say it's your biggest fear then. I would love to have my appendix removed. I saw a bat when we went on this trip in Bali. This bat is hanging upside down and it opened up its wings for a second as it was receiving some mango and it had a little tiny cock and balls. My first crush was a bat, if you think about it. Sign up on tmgstudios.tv to watch the full bonus episode.